Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy A23 5G mobile phone and in this video I am going to show you top 14 tips and tricks for using this phone. So guys, let's start. The first tip is about enabling the one-handed mode. So guys, the screen size is 6.6 .6 inch. So sometimes you find it difficult to use your phone with one hand, okay? So how to enable the one-handed mode? You have to go into the settings. So here is the settings icon. So once you enter into the settings, you have to scroll down and you will see an option of advanced features okay just select it okay so once you enter into the advanced features you will see an option of one-handed mode okay so you can enable it from here you can also select it and you will have more information about one-handed mode so now what you have to do the second thing you have to press this uh, button option so you have to select it okay so now everything is ready uh, so if I double tap uh, this home button okay so if I double tap okay so you can see now it is in one-handed mode and if you want to change its position you see there is an arrow over here so you can change its position guys you can access all your phone activities in one-handed mode okay so for example if I select this home screen I can easily scroll I can easily access any app for example I open Samsung notes so everything is available in one-handed mode the second thing is you can also change its size if you want to make it little bigger you can take it from the corner like this okay so you can see you can make it bigger okay like that if you want to make it small you can do it like this okay and if you want to go back to normal full screen mode you have to double tap on this space okay so now it is in the full mode and if you want to go back to one-handed mode just double press this home button and it will go back to one-handed mode the next step is about enabling this edge panel so you can see if I take it out this tray you have more apps over here and I can easily drag and drop them in a split screen mode as well so how to enable this edge panel okay so you have to go into the settings okay once you enter into the settings you see this option of display okay just select it once you select it you have to scroll down okay and you will see an option of edge panels okay so if it is disabled you have to enable it okay and once you select it you will go inside the edge panel option so there are more options available okay so first option is panels okay so if you just select it you have more uh, panel options over here so people you can select uh, the smart select task weather okay so here is the weather tool okay reminder and then clipboard okay so I uh, select all of them now the second uh, setting is uh, I will go back okay so now the second se setting is handle so you can change the color of the handle so you can see I'm changing the color okay so you can see over here you can easily change it okay for example I want to make it blue and here you can change the transparency and then you can change the size you can make it bigger so you can see if I increase the bar you can see the size become bigger okay and then uh, you can change the width you can make it thick okay like this so these are the settings that you can do okay so now I go back to home screen if I take out the edge panel so edge panel is here with apps if I just scroll inside the edge panel I have all the other information I have all the other panels available for example like this smart select then we have these options okay then weather okay then we have uh, this reminder okay then we have clipboard so you can access all these panels in your phone the next step is about how to hide apps in this phone so first of all you have to go into the settings once you enter into the settings you see this option of home screen okay just select it once you select it you will see an option of hide apps on home screen okay so just select it once you select here it will show you all the apps okay so whichever app you want you can hide from here for example I want to hide this touch notes app I just select it so once you select it it will go into the hidden apps category okay and then you press this done okay so now I press this done so the app is 
hidden now if I go back and I try to search so the touch notes app you can see there is no touch notes apps available on this phone so if you want to open the hidden app okay you just have to scroll like this on top and search bar will appear now you can type the name of the app name of the hidden app so for example the app that I hide is touch notes okay so I will write here touch notes okay so here it will show you the app info with touch notes just select it once you select it you will see on the bottom very down here you see this option of open just select it so once you select it, the app will open the app is still hidden but you can access it okay so this is how you can hide apps on this phone the next tip is about dual messenger so guys in uh, this phone you can enable the dual messenger option how to enable it just go into the settings once you enter into the settings you have to scroll down and you will see an option of advanced features just select it once you select it you will see on the bottom it says dual messenger just select it okay so here you have all available apps that you can use the dual messenger for so we have whatsapp snapchat facebook messenger okay so these are all supported apps that you can use the dual messenger for the next tip is about taking screenshot so guys if you want to take the screenshot you have to use this power button okay and this volume down button okay so you have to press them together to take the screenshot so i will show you if i press them together okay so you can see it take the screenshot here you have all the editing option you can edit your screenshot okay so for example if i want to write something there are different uh, writing pen options okay so you can see i can write it if you want to erase you can erase it okay if you want to share it you can share it for example if i select share there are different platforms that you can share your screenshot okay and then if you want to download it you can download and it will save into your gallery the next step is about touch sensitivity so if you are using your phone with screen protector you can enable the touch sensitivity option how to enable it just go into the settings okay and then go into the display option okay so i will scroll up and here is the display option okay just select it once you select it you will see an option of touch sensitivity okay so here is the touch sensitivity option so you will enable it okay so it will increase the touch sensitivity of the screen for use with the screen protector the next step is about double tap to turn on or turn off the screen so for example if i double tap like this it will turn off my screen and again if i double tap on my phone screen the phone is turned on so how to enable this option you have to go into the settings once you enter into the settings you have to go into the advanced features so here is the advanced features just select it once you select it you will see an option of motions and gestures just select it once you select it you will see there are two options: double tap to turn on screen double tap to turn off screen so if they are disabled like this you have to enable them okay so then it will turn on the screen or turn off the screen when you double tap it the next step is about motion smoothness or refresh rate so in this phone you can change the mo motion smoothness there are two options 60 hertz and 120 hertz so how to enable it just go into the settings okay once you enter into the settings just go into this display option okay once you enter into the display option you see this option of motion smoothness just select it so once you select it you can see there are two options adaptive and standard so the adaptive is 120 hertz so it will uh, make your phone experience more smoother okay or the other one is uh, 60 hertz okay so in the 60 hertz you will get more battery life so it's up to you whichever motion smoothness you want the next step is about navigation so here you can see there are button options available but if you want the swipe gesture option instead of these button you can also enable it you just have to go into the settings once you enter into the settings just go into the display once you enter into the display you see uh, on down Okay, if you scroll down you see this option of navigation bar 
just select it once you select it here we have two options buttons and swipe gestures so for example if i select the swipe gestures you can see the button will remove okay so buttons are removed only there is a bar over here okay so you can use this bar or you have more options available if you select it you will see this swipe gestures are divided into three different type of uh, uh, you can say uh, gestures so if i select it you can see there will be three uh, different swipe gestures option available so you can use them as well the other option is the normal swipe from the sides and bottom so it's up to you whichever you want but i like the button so i select this button the next tip is about power saving mode if you want to enable the power saving mode just go into the settings okay then go into the battery and device care okay just select it once you enter into the battery and device care the very first option over here is about battery just select it once you select it you will see this option of power saving you can just select it and go inside okay so you can enable it if you want to uh, enable the power saving mode the next tip is about this power key shortcut okay if i double press this power key you can see samsung notes open and here i can take my notes okay so for example if i want to write something i can write i can use the highlighter okay so how to enable uh, this power key shortcut so first of all you have to go into the settings once you enter into the settings just uh, go into the advanced features so here is the advanced features okay uh, and the second option in the advanced feature is side key just select it so once you select it you can see the first option is quick launch camera so if you select this one so if you double tap your camera will launch but if you don't want uh, this uh, launch camera option you can select the second option and then go into the settings and from here you can select any app that you want to use okay so for example i select this chrome okay so open app chrome if i double tap it will open the chrome i will show you so if i double tap this power key you see the chrome is now open so you can set the uh, side key shortcut according to your needs the next tip is about keep screen on while viewing okay so how to enable it just go into the setting and then go into the advanced features okay and then go into the motions and gestures okay so here you see this option of keep screen on while viewing so if it is disabled like this you have to enable it so keep the screen on while you are looking at it using the front camera to detect your face so you can enable this option the next tip is about hiding the battery percentage so here you can see it is saying 44 percent if i want to hide this battery percentage i have to go into the settings okay uh, then i go to battery and device care okay and then here uh, you see the first option is battery okay and then scroll down you will see the option of more battery settings just select it once you select it here it is showing you the option of show battery percentage you can just disable it and you can see there is no more battery percentage if you want to enable it you have to enable from here and then you can see the battery percentage is showing so it's up to you if you want to hide you have to just disable it and then there will be no more battery percentage showing the next tip is about widgets option so you can select different widgets on your home screen so just press and hold on the empty space in the home screen and then on the down you see this option of widgets so you just select it so here you have different widgets option like samsung notes okay bookmark whatsapp then we have calendar chrome clock so for example i select this clock okay here we have different clock option so for example i like this clock i just press and hold it like this and then i can put into my home screen like this and now here it is available in my home screen so you can set different widgets according to your need so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much